So we all know that having a content strategy is key to having a search engine marketing strategy. But let's face it, writing takes time, it takes effort, it takes resources. So how do you have a content strategy without letting the writing take over your life? I'm Olivia with Whole Whale, and today we're going to look at two of our favorite tools for content strategy, Ispionage and Similar Web. Okay, but what are Ispionage and Similar Web? They are two of, frankly, many different websites that offer a similar service, which is to tell you, among other things, what keywords your website and your competitors' websites are indexing for, both for paid and organic searches. And without these tools, we're often making our best guess at what to write about and what content and what keyword-driven content is going to get us on that front page of Google search results. Both Espionage and Similar Web have a paid premium version that offer a lot of things to play with. Uh, the free versions, however, are just as good in giving you a head start or a leg up on thinking what is doing best for both your site and your competitors when it comes to how people are searching. This is also a great way of laying the groundwork for a data-driven content strategy to make sure that you are getting the most results for the least amount of effort. As a side note, Whole Whale gets no promotional consideration whatsoever for talking about either of these tools. We just frankly think they're great and we use them ourselves basically every day. Okay, so once you go to ispionage.com, you're going to enter in your URL. For today, we will just put in Whole Whales. You can select your country and start spying. Now, immediately you're going to be prompted to sign up for a free account to see the competitor data. Uh, you can enter in your name. We're going to put in our email address. And select a password. Business type. Eight plus two is 10, so I'm told and we're gonna hit get our free competitor data. So once you're signed up, you can search for websites and see that data for both pay-per-click ads and for organic keywords. Let's take a look at the organic keywords for today. And we can see that there is an average search volume. There is also uh, information on the average position and the first and last seen dates for related keyword content. And we can also see how we're trending uh, over time with the positioning for each keyword, which is very useful if you want to see uh, how things are trending for both uh, your website, a competitor's website. To gauge how accurate this information is, you can also search for your own site, as we've done here. And we would recommend comparing this data against your own data in Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Sometimes we see a little bit of discrepancy. Your mileage may vary. Similar web is, well, similar to Ispionage, the main difference being that they don't require you to sign up for an account to test drive their free version. So we're going to enter in a website up here. Oh, and they even recognize us. And we're going to see a number of things at the onset. We're gonna see a global rank. We're going to see a rank within uh, the country that we are in or the country of our choosing. And we're also going to see a category rank. This is their best guess category for how your website is ranked. And you can also suggest an edit if it is totally wrong. If the site has enough data, you can look at everything from referral traffic to social traffic to uh, how the audience breaks down. You can even see uh, things like competitor information, which is especially useful if you're looking for sites that, if you're looking for competitor inspiration, if you wanna know who similar web thinks that your site is competitive with. We're gonna take a look again at search keywords. And here we can see the amount of traffic that comes from search. 
we can also see the percentage of organic keywords and the percentage of paid keywords. And with the free version of Similar Web, they'll show you the first five keywords. Uh, they show you the percentage of traffic that comes from each of those keywords. And occasionally they'll also show you uh, how much that keyword ranking has either increased or decreased over time. So for example, with wholewhale.com, we can see that uh, 79 and uh, some odd percentage of our traffic comes from search and that 3.55% of that traffic comes from Facebook ad grant. We can also test this search in real time, clicking search and seeing how it looks on Google and where we're indexing for that keyword. We're in the number two position. We can also see the other sites that are indexing for it. This is especially useful if you want to get a lay of the land on Google for any number of keywords that you may not be currently indexing for. Uh, we also do recommend taking a look at your competitors' sites to see how they index to give you some more inspiration for keyword ideas. For instance, let's take a look at Lunametrics, one of our favorite resources for Google Analytics and other metric information. And let's take a look at their keywords. There we go, Google Tag Manager, SEO Tools. And this is great, again, for seeing how you want to build on your content strategy using both your data and the data of other websites. Creepy, but creepy for good. Okay, but I know you're sitting there saying, this is all great, what do I do with it? Once you have a sense of the keywords that your competitors are indexing for, it's a good chance to look at them and think about how your own mission as an organization and your own content strategy can play against these keywords. Maybe some of them are the exact same keywords that you wanna be ranking for. Maybe there are some that are related to that that you can be looking at. Maybe there are longer tail keywords. Don't think just about saving the world. Look at how to save the world or when is the best time to save the world? By the way, the answer to that is always. It is always the best time to save the world. Uh, from there, you can take all of your keywords that you have found through this competitive analysis and put them into another tool like moz.com to do additional keyword research. Moz is great at suggesting related keywords. And they'll also give you a ranking to let you know on a scale of zero to 100, the likelihood you have of ranking on the front page for Google search results. This is how you start a strategy for content that's making sure that you're putting the right effort into the right keywords. We don't want to be trying to bid on insanely difficult keywords, especially when it's organic content and we don't have the money to back it up. Let's just look at the highest likelihood, matching that with the ones that are the most relevant to our organization. I'm Olivia with Whole Whale, and if you liked hearing about these two tools, you will love our newest course on Whole Whale University, Building Better Organic Traffic. We go into the entire gamut of SEO content marketing, from how it works on the technical back end to how to write the whole thing. And you can find a link to it at whowale.com forward slash university. If you like this video, you can also check out more here and you can hit like uh, and subscribe on our handy dandy YouTube channel. In the meantime, let us know on Twitter at Whole Whale what tools you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for tuning in.